Welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Starfield. We're back on the eye, and we're supposed to talk to Vladimir. What does he got to say? You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The launch. Barrett didn't make it. So, we slipped from the Starborn's grasp. But not before taking a stab straight in the heart. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. Yeah, clearly. Uh, Starborn want the artifact. We need to move them. Got the right of it. The hunter, he, um... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Um. That won't really make the Lodge or the Eye more secure, will it? Clear from the few encounters we've had that the artifacts are all the Starborn prize. They could come after us, though. Try to find out where we put them. Need to take the risk. The Eye, the equipment in the Lodge, not easily moved. Gotta hope whatever is giving the Hunter pause applies to the whole. Just need to make another direct hit less the jackpot. Fair enough. Uh, you just want to keep him on my ship? Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. Fair enough. Let's see, I can now build an armory on your ship or at outpost. Armory on your ship, go to the armory screen inside your ship's cockpit. Build the armory on one of your outposts. Go to your outposts and enter build mode. There will be a new quest category that contains. What does that mean? Is that like automated defenses, I assume? Um, I don't see the option that said the option was on the cockpit, but I guess let's get up. That's it. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Move armor release, start more attacks more likely whenever armor release is placed. If you choose to keep the artifact in your inventory, then the attacks are more likely everywhere. Excellent. Okay. I need to put... Artifacts considered a resource? Oh, my inventory's Q. I always forget that, that it opens that inventory first. Okay, that's not it. I guess they don't take up inv inventory space now, my guess. be a note yeah i guess so i guess they're just here and they don't uh take up inventory space it's odd anyways 
Oh, what to next, I guess is the question. Return to the lodge. I'm sure they're sad to see you go. <laughs> we'll see if this is a bad decision or if it would make more sense to um made more sense to like where even are the markers for like the lodge and stuff here that's Yumi unknown I can't fast travel there apparently. I'm positive I've fast traveled the lodge before. But yeah, considering it makes attacks on the ship more likely. Definitely don't like that. Considering ship combat's real clunky. Like, yeah, could I not see the other districts on the map before? I don't think that's accurate. Really hope they fix that fast travel thing. With all this running around we're doing right now is pretty unnecessary. I would figure that'd be high priority for them. They've done quite a few updates. This, at least to me, seems like a huge quality of life feature that would probably make people stop complaining so much about the game. Barrett's belongings have moved to the lodge basement. Mateo, I need to be checking everyone's vitals. Now really isn't the time. I know. Look, we all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think I have something. Oh? I'm serious. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. What's that? Unity. Do you remember that? Yep. He said our part in glimpsing unity was over. Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest... Okay. Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... 
Why not talk to him? Um, where is the Sanctum Universe Universum? It's right here in the city, just a block or so from the lodge. Okay, then I don't see. I mean, neither of these, but I, I I don't see any reason not to try if it's only a block away. And it would seem there is nothing to lose in doing so. Yeah, that's what I wanted Thank to you. say. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. If you okay, are okay. soon, could we talk? No more Starborn have shown up. Yet. Right, you want to talk now? I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. Uh-huh. You told me that fun was important. I assumed you were joking and dismissed it out of hand. I mean, it's important but to some degree. having thought about it, I wonder now if you were right. Or at least if I were too quick to reject the idea. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary. That there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Uh, yeah, you're kind of the only one who can answer that. I know. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... Let's see, uh, yeah, to some degree we've all done it, things that we regret. I would not presume to think we have had similar experiences. I would hope you would do the same. I promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home, jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. Uh, you know, you were with me the whole time we were doing the whole pirate thing, so I'm uh, not going to judge you by that, but clearly it's taken a toll on you. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close i had maybe not quite friends but people i cared about yet there was always a distance i could not reach across i often find other people complicated and confusing it seemed easier to not become attached especially when circumstances meant i, I might never see them again with no warning Um, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, we're social creatures. Like, life is better when we have others and we work together. It's kind of a, a necessity for human beings to do so. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea. But therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm right here if you need... I appreciate that more than you know. All right. Let's see. So it's about a block away. What is the... What is a block in this game? The entire other side of the map, it looks like. Oops. Oh, that hurt myself. Whoops. Diplomacy will never die. Oh, he's right here. 
What's up? Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? You need to raise oh, your hand? Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Uh, we think your church is connected to a group of space weirdos. What? Th that's, um... <laughs> what we mean is... We think there's something in the Sanctum's teachings connected to what we've been investigating. Couldn't help Keeper, myself on that when one. When you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Fair enough. Hopefully the sitting animation works. Okay, good. We've had that problem before. Huh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here? Uh, we were attacked by a group called the Starborn. We've lost people, Keeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And these Starborn, I take it they're different from the people of the settled systems? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. Uh, yeah, I don't really need a lecture. I need answers if you know anything specific about the unity itself. And I think I can help. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe <clears throat> it's more. It's kind of what we're getting at. We're hoping uh, it's something literal. Maybe this pilgrim was a starborn? I'm not sure if he was. But if what you're looking for is connected, then anything might be possible. Okay, it sounds like you don't really know what's going on here. All right, let's hear the story then, just in case there's some clues in it. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment <clears throat> and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Oh, okay. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Uh, sounds like House of Enlightenment and Varun have the other parts, then. I agree. I think you need to talk to them about this unity pilgrim. And clearly, not just in a theological sense, as I have. All right, yeah, that's what I hear, is House Varun is quite the stake. If you've already talked to him, well, then why send me? Because I wasn't looking to find unity in the same sense you are. A fresh set of eyes might reveal the truth. Alrighty, I guess we'll talk to him. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis 
helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. Okay, that'll be the easy. The worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I oh. visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Alrighty. Off we go, it seems. Gonna be a chit chat heavy episode. Let's bring up the map. Let's actually see who's closer. Um, House of Enlightenment, it's literally right there. Where's the other one at? It sounded like they were in like a dungeon or something. They're not showing up on the map. I guess we'll go to the House of Enlightenment first, because that's obviously right here. Oh, this is going to do the thing where it's... Yeah, it's pointing at the ground underneath of us, even though we need to get through an elevator to go to the well, isn't it? Dang it. It looks like I should be able to get there through this building, but I'm pretty sure I tried that before and it didn't work. If you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. Yeah, none of these. Yeah, I've done this before. All right, now where the heck is the entrance to the well? I know, isn't it like by one of the train stations there's an elevator? It would be really useful to have a map right now. Wouldn't it? Because to be blunt, I don't even remember where the train station is. Not there. I don't think it's is it this way. Start collective. Never forget what the FC did. Never forget. This is, yeah, that's where we just were. Okay, so that's not it. Aquilus has seen so much. Maybe get to a high point and kind of look around. At the train? Maybe? We can get through the well through the lodge. The lodge is right around here, right? Stop by this medical shop and see if they got any trauma packs or med packs. Nobody working behind the counter today? Citizen. The majority of citizens here in New Atlantis count on Reliant Medical. I believe our reputation speaks for itself. 
Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Yeah, hurry up. Supplies. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Uh, let's see. We are after... Med pack, we'll take all four. And trauma pack, we'll take all eight. Perfect. I don't think we need any of this other stuff. Perfect. What is this? Alien DNA. Will that get rid of my ailments? I feel like Take it will. I don't want to engage with that. Where the heck is the lodge? It's this way, right? Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you. I know there's a way to the well he here. It's probably a very roundabout way to get there, but at you least may not it's progress. Quite enjoy New Atlantis, but this. <laughs> This is much better. Huh? Oh, that's the wrong way. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right. <laughs> well, we made it to the well. Let's see. Figure out where this person's at. Soon enough, we'll get to the part where there's like people and stuff, right? No. Is this door locked now? No, I think this is the part where you get to people, isn't it? Not there. Someone's doing some gross stuff here. Does this way take me anywhere? No, it just takes me back. Dang it. This was like the only entrance to the well that I 100% remember where it is. Is there another door in this room? Nah, I think that's it. Well, that's a waste. If nothing else, I have things I wish to discuss with you. All right, we'll do one more when conversation. The lodge feels a little colder than it used to. Fair enough. I need you to know how much it means that you came for me. There is no way to properly thank you or to repay you for what you have done. I quite literally owe you my life. I mean, you've been my primary companion this whole time. Uh, I'm just glad I was able to get to you in time. As am I. As grateful as I am, it is hard to feel that my life does not come at too great a cost. Ah, uh, quit being so Barrett insecure. Barrett had been through so much and kept his good humor despite it all. He deserved better. That, that's fair to say, I guess. Yeah, you deserve to live as much as anybody else. Thank you. I shall try to remember that.
When I say them, who am I talking about? Any member of Constellation would have done the same. Now, I couldn't just let him die. I know. We all know. Losing Barrett is tragic. But things could have been so much worse without you. Yeah, we can't let it end like this. We cannot, and we will not. We will press on. We will continue our search, and we will learn what these Starborn are trying to keep from us. Now we truly know the stakes are too high to do anything else. There we go. All right. And unfortunately, I think we're going to end the episode here. I'll have, I'll find where, how to get to the well off screen. Um, yeah, that's frustrating. Maps. Please give us maps. I, there's no chance I'm ever going to have every single city memorized off the top of my head. That's just not going to happen. Maps is what we need, Bethesda. Anyways, thank you. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have a good one.